The last time his opponent had two tens and cracked his two aces. Well, this time he's got tens against the ace high. His tournament life on the line. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com slash YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Tens of 5,000 blinds are 15 and 30. Here we go, season 11. Andre Neffler, first to act a quick fold by him. Now Chris Lee folds as well. Now over to Anthony Gregg, 25 year old from Maryland. He's raised it. Then Larry Sharp, a former high school basketball coach, folds. Well, Chris Van Dersen making the call with the two fours. We call him the fish tank. Stephen Reynolds folding. So Mike, two-way action here. Nine, ten up against two fours. Flop comes up, ace three, deuce. The fish tank checks the two fours. Has the straight draw and the best hands you can see. Nothing hitting there for Anthony Gray, but he doesn't care. He's going to put in a bet. Continuation bet of 60,000. But the fish tank calls him. Nice call. Looking for a straight there, the fish tank. But a nine hits on the turn. That is beautiful for Anthony Gregg. He picks up nines now. The fish tank has checked it. Look at this. Anthony Gregg was bluffing on the flop when he bet. Now he's made two nines on the turn. Now he thinks they're the best hand. Now he's getting a value bet in. Quick call by fish tank. And the card is a six of hearts. Again, Chris checks. We need to call him the fish tank because there's two Chris's at this table. We love the fish tank nickname anyway. I got a feeling what it really means is that Chris, the fish tank, is a tank and he captures all the little fish. All right suckers. now he's trying to capture Anthony Gregg in his pot. He's not going to capture anybody here with just the fours. And look at Anthony putting in a value bet, Mike. A call. And he's going to get the action. He gets the call by the fish tank. Just great bet sizing by Anthony Gregg there. Got the value bet in for the 165000 on the river. But Vince, the guy was bluffing on the flop. He got value bets in on the turn in the river when he thought he had the best hand. Well played yeah. <laughs> by Anthony Gregg there. Yep, he's 25 years old, lives in Columbia, Maryland. His 14th WPT event. Back to this hand, though. Quick full by Chris Lee. Now Anthony Gregg. This time, with just a five deuce is going to make it 60,000, Mike. Vince, he's letting it be known early here that he's the man to beat at this final table. He has come to play. Larry, Chris, and Stephen Reynolds out and around to Andre Niffler. He's got a pair of fives. So Andre Niffler makes the call out of the big blind with the two fives. This guy pretty amazing himself. Went to the University of Michigan. Here's the flop, queen, nine, nine. Majored in aerospace engineering. Andre checks. Well, Anthony Gregg gonna put in a bet with just five high. Andre out in front with his fives. But you know what? He gets scared. He folds the hand. Yeah, Vince, incredible. The guys come out with both guns blazing. Raise the first hand with 10-9 offsuit. Won that pot. Now he wins a pot with a five deuce. Back-to-back -back wins for Anthony Gray. Can't beat the tone. All right, and right now our chip leader is Anthony Gregg with four million. Lines of 15 and 30,000. We're going to the felt. Well, Anthony, such a highly respected pro. Looking to take down his first title, let alone WPT title, in a big time tournament. Action on Larry Sharp. He's going to fold that junk. And now Chris, the fish tank. He has ace three of clubs, and he's going to raise 60,000 to go. Well, Stephen Reynolds right behind him picks up ace jack. 150 bucks. He makes it 155,000 to go. That is right. Now Andre going away. Chris Lee now has picked up a huge hand pair of kings. What a time to get it. I think we're going to see a four bet here. 385. And indeed we are. He announces raise. Makes it 385,000 to go. Greg and Fish Tank can't take the heat. I'm gonna wait till you look at me so I can ask you a very important question. 
This is part of the 50 hand plan. Steven trying to chat it up there with Chris Lee, but when the big blind four bets after two guys raised in front of him, got to give him a credit for a big hand, even if he doesn't have one. In this case, of course, he does. These are the two chip leaders. Does Steven want to continue the battle? Nope, he elects to fold, gets out of the way. And Chris Lee is going to take the pot with the Kings. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. All right, to this hand, Andre, first to play now. <laughs> Passed on it. Andre out, and now Chris Lee. He's got a pair of threes. They call Chris Lee, genius 28. He's gonna raise to 60,000. All right, now Larry Sharp. Vince, Larry Sharp's hobby is playing basketball. Can you take him? Do you think he could take him? Yes. Wow. I'll take him. You're an old guy. The guy's just, he's young. We want to play this thing, these matches anyhow, so I might as well say that I can do it. <laughs> See, I think he's been sitting at the poker table too long. I think he's probably stiff. He's rusty. I'd take him. He's on the short stack, as you can see by a red short stack indicator. Come on. Oh, he's moving all in here, Vince. Wow, he's going to push. Fish tank out, Steven Reynolds out, so back on Chris Lee. Well, cracks his knuckles there. <laughs> well, when you have a small pair and the guy moves all in. I'm folding a pair. First, you have to hope you're in a race, then you got to try to win it, so. Look at this, he's going to be successful with that bluff. Queen High's going to win. Anthony Gregg out in front right now. Yes, he is with over four million. To the felt we go. Chris Lee with a quick fold. Anthony Gregg not going to play now. Larry Sharp, the former high school basketball coach, he is going to fold. And Chris, the fish tank, is going to raise with a pair of sixes. Makes it 60,000. Fold by Stephen Reynolds. And now Andre Niffler. Yeah, the aerospace engineer going to call him with the queen jack. And it comes queen high as it comes queen three deuce. Andre out in front now. He's going to check his queens and fish tank is going to bet. Well, it's a standard continuation bet here. Plus he has a flush draw. Action on Andre Niffler. Going to make the call with the queen jack. Might as well just call Andre the rocket man. I like that. That's what he used to tinker with. Now an ace comes off, neither player are gonna like that card. And they both check. Down to the river we go. Well, the four diamonds comes off, so the fish tank has made a flush. Oh man, just backed into that flush. They both check. Andre disgusted. Fish tank is gonna show him a flush and take down the pot. Nice hand. And the fish tank maneuvering the waters well there. Well, very lovable guy. Loves to drink, loves to play. The fish tank is just a big, jolly old guy. <laughs> now, there you see Anthony Gregg still out in front. Steven Reynolds in second place. Chris Lee in third. Six players left, fighting it out for over $416,000 in this coveted WPT title. All right, decision going to Andre Niffler. Has a lousy five deuce, folds his hand, as does Chris Lee. Now Anthony Gregg. Anthony Gregg also has five deuce, but he's going to raise with his. Anthony is our current chip leader, as noted by our green big stack indicator. Larry Sharp out, fish tank out. But here we go with Stephen Reynolds. Going to stick around with the king seven of hearts. So two-way action, here's the flop. Now yeah, flop comes eight, six deuce. Stephen checks. Anthony Gregg has picked up a piece of that. Chuck. But he's going to check it as well. To the turn we go. Four diamonds comes off now. Check. Let's give Steven a get shot straight draw. Yeah, but he's going to check it. Check. Two checks. 
To the river we go. Oh, look at that card. Five hits Stephen Reynolds just beautifully. Well, he's now made a straight. He is reaching for chips. 95. And sadly for Anthony Gregg, he has made two pair with that river card. $95,000 bet by Stephen Reynolds. They call him sizzling better. I always know. Anthony yeah, and he is going to get the action. He gets the call. Well, Anthony Gregg not going to be pleased with himself the way he played that hand. Checked it twice when he had the best hand and then paid him off when he had the worst. Stephen Reynolds taking down his first pot of the evening. He's got some chips. And Anthony folds the hand. Larry cannot play. Hi, buddy. No fish tank. He's out as well. I promise. Round to Stephen Reynolds. Our chip leader, he has an ace. Ace four. And look at this, limping in on the button with an ace high. Andre doesn't want to contribute anymore. He folds. And now Chris Lee with a jack, nine of diamonds. He says, OK, let's see a flop here. Huh? And flop goes 10, seven, deuce with two hearts. Chris with the gut shot straight draw is going to lead out in bed 45,000. And with just an ace high, Steven going to make the call. What card are you looking for? I've got a bunch of cards I'm looking for. There's not really an ink on. All right, turn card. It's a seven of spades. Pairs the board. No help to either player. Check. And Chris is going to check. Steven checks right behind him. Down to the river we go. And the river is a deuce of diamonds. Neither player has a pair. Well, again, Chris is going to check. I'm going to check my ace high. And Steven is going to check as well. And he's going to win this pot with ace high. You've got to be feeling good about it. Six players going after this very prestigious title. And right now, it's on the fish tank. The guy from Philly, he quickly folds. Okay. Steven Reynolds now with just a jack-10. He's going to splash around with a raise, makes it 60,000 to go. Andre the Rocket Man out. Oh, but look at this. Chris Lee is going to three-bet it here with an ace-8 of spade. Well, he runs out a better hand of Anthony Griggs. He folds the ace-jack. Larry Sharp with a pair of nines here. Has folded the hand quickly. Well, the three bets what shut him out with the two nines. Now let's see what Steven's going to do here with the Jack-10 offsuit. Not the kind of hand you really want to play out of position with, but he's making the call here. They call him sizzling better. Let's see if he gets lucky. Oh, yes, he does. Hits tens on the flop just like that, and he's going to check. Yep, it's come 10, 6, 4 with two clubs. Let's see if we got a club going on. Well, anytime you three bet before the flop, you're going to make a continuation bet on the flop, and Chris Lee doing that right now. 140,000. Even though the flop has come 10 high, you're still a little worried that your opponent might have something like two queens. So you just make a crying call here, even though you flop top pair. Well, he has called it, and here comes the turn card. Eight of hearts hits Chris Lee. Stephen checking again. Genius 28 going to stick out another bet, 265. Not really a genius bet, it appears. Well, Stephen Reynolds playing in his first ever WPT event. His brother Garrett has won five gold medals at the X Games. He's trying to get the gold tonight. Well, he's called it. Good call. Down to the river we go. And now the board pairs fours. Both players check. have two pair. Check. A nice check by Chris Lee there on the river. Steven going to take the pot down with two tens. Well, Vance, right now, Steven Reynolds, who came to the final table as our chip leader, on a little bit of a roll here right now. He's picked up a couple small pots in a row. The lines are going up to 20 and 40. A quick fold by Anthony Gregg. Larry Sharp also folding. Actions on Chris Van Dersen, the fish tank. And he's going to raise with 10, eight of spades. Reynolds out. Oh, oh look at this. Andre picking up the weapons of mass destruction, the pair of aces. Yep, he's in the small blind here. He's the rocket man. Just going to call here. I'm not fond of this play. And the reason I'm not fond of it is because you entice the big blind to call, where now you have to be two players with the aces instead of just one. 
Just got tans, Mike, and he didn't raise as well. Very interesting. And look at this, a 10 on the flop, three of a kind. Incredible. This could spell big trouble for Andre here. Oh, now the rocket man is going to explode with a bet, it appears. Well, he's gonna lead right out in bed here. 115. And I'll tell you one thing, if Chris Lee happens to pull the trigger and raises here, we're gonna have a giant pot. Remember, Fish Tank was the pre-flop raiser here. Chris Lee just calling with the three tens. Fish Tank also with tens, just, just a pair of tens, of course, is also gonna call. But well, he's calling because he thinks if one of these guys would have flopped Queens, they would have checked to him and maybe check raised him. And now a nine comes off. That's gotta be a scare card for everybody, including Chris Lee, who flopped three tens, because it looks like a potential straight out there now. But the rocket man, Andre Niffler, of course, on the short stack. And again, he's gonna plunge away. 150. About four something. Chris Lee saying, how much more you got? My victim. No, he's gonna move it up to 425 to go. Fish tank gets out of the way. And back on Andre. Now he's only got 400, 500 left. <sighs> the weirdest stand here. Well, man, it's the toughest thing about two aces is getting away from him. He may be able to get away from him because he let out here on the turn with this hand. He's finding out where he's at, though, when his opponent makes a big raise. Oh, man, they're so pretty. I want to show this one, kind of. I remember, he made this raise with a man sitting behind him, so he's got to have a hand here that most likely beats the two aces, and that's exactly the case. Good lay down by Andre there. Well, he saved his short stack. Nice hand, Chris. Well done. I told you that, Ted. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com YT and use bonus code YT88 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Chip leader now Steven Reynolds with an ace queen of clubs makes it 80,000. Stephen raises. Andre out. Down. Chris out. Uh huh. And now round two. Anthony Gregg with King Eight of Diamonds, Mike. Well, he's in the big blind, and he's going to make the call here. So these are the two chip leaders going at it. Well, flop comes nine three deuce. Anthony has flopped a flush draw. Good flop for him. He's going to check. And the chip leader 75. with ace queen with the continuation bet 75,000. It's a textured board. Everybody's going to make a continuation bet on. The question is, is Anthony Gregg going to check raise the flush girl? There's the royal flush girl social bar where the ladies are really enjoying the evening. Now, Anthony's just going to call. And Vance, I think he's just calling because he knows he's up against the chip leader, the only guy that can break him at the table. Five of diamonds on the turn. Anthony has made his flush, and look at this. He is going to lead out and bet with it. Show tunes going off in his head. I show you two, you show me one. I show you two, you show me one. Oh, boy. I like that horse trade in Vance. He's going to lose him. I'll show you two if you show me one. It's a pretty good trade, two for one, right? Steven Reynolds folding the hand very wisely, and Anthony's got to be kicking himself a little bit, saying maybe I should have checked. Well, I think he should have checked. Yeah. Maybe let this guy take another stab at it. He did a little reversal there, chased his man away. But more chips over to Anthony Gregg. I was the that bet. What? What? I mean, I bet because I thought I was going to turn a five. That's, I'm more impressed with what Steven said. I'll show you two if you show me one. <laughs> right. Very good. Action on fish tank. Yeah, he folds. Steven so what I'm gonna do is scoots I'm gonna out of there. And now, wow. Andre Neffler <laughs> picks up tens. He picked up the weapons of mass destruction earlier. Didn't raise. So this time he's gone all in with the tens. But look at this. Folded around to Larry Sharp. Larry is called with ace king. Well, last time his opponent had two tens and cracked his two aces. Well, this time he's got tens against the ace high. His tournament life on the line. Well, 
Well, it's the classic race, the two overcards versus the under pair. If the tens don't stand up, Andre will be our sixth place finisher. Let's see the flop. King right on the flop. What a flop from Mr. Sharp. That is bad news for the Michigan man, Vince. He now is gonna have to catch a 10 to win this pot or two runners to make a straight. Here comes the turn card. Well, four clubs comes off, we are down to the river. Andre Niffler is gonna have to catch a 10 on the river to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. Countdown has begun. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh, 2. Yeah! Just a queen. So tough luck for the Michigan man. Andre Niffler gonna take home 61,000 for his efforts here this week. But a tough little player, Vince. Just didn't win the race, he had to win. Crowd going nuts there for Mr. Sharp and Andre Neffler has to say goodbye. He's going over to talk to Matt Savage. Andre went down on a classic race, ace king versus two tens. Your first final table on the World Poker Tour. Give first me your final thoughts. Table. Uh, you know, I'm excited to be here. This is awesome. Um, lucky to make it this far, have some fun, uh, play with a bunch of good players, so I can't complain. Well, you're looking for a job. You had a $24,000 cash a couple weeks ago, yep. another 60 today. You still going to be looking for a job? You can play poker. Oh, still looking for a job. Mm -hmm. So the right. poker's, uh, it's fun to play sometimes, not every day for a living. All right, so if you're hiring out there, this guy's a genius. We'll see you next time. All right, thanks.